Hello ladies and gents, this is me Evan, your friend in some really exciting tutorials and this is the 8th video of the DAP Panel version 2 training. You don't know what's the DAP Panel version 2 my friend? Of course, this is the DAP Panel version 2 square and this is the DAP Panel version 2 wide album designs. Two wonderful panels that I created for you in order to help you create fantastic professional and of course really easy photo albums and photo books. In this video, I'm about to show you how we can take a custom pre-built design and uh, redefine it, alter it and make it really romantic and of course a piece of art like the one you see in front of you right now. We'll take uh, with a few words um, a pre-built design with three photos and we change the position of the photos and the smart objects in order to create something majestic and perhaps even better. So let's try this one. Of course, I need uh, a design. So I will go to the album page designs. And of course, from here, I'm about to select the page designs with three photos in total. And I will go right down in this uh, selection in this set let's say and i will select this design which is actually a double page design with three uh, smart object one two three okay so first of all i will click the double page in order to open a double page design of course you don't have to think about anything you don't have to think about numbers they are all ready for you and set um so you just click uh, buttons and designs okay so easy so let's just click that and you will realize that i have just created one two and three photo loaders so first of all i will go to the photo one i will double click and i will go to the bridge in order to bring this wonderful photo inside wonderful romantic photo from the photo gfx.gr the uh, creators of this wonderful photo so let's just close this save it and you see that it's already there so now i will go and i will select photo 2 and photo 3 and i will put a background so let's say that we'll put the first background you see that wonderful and then i will go and take the photo 2 and click and drag with shift hold and at about there i think it's gonna be okay at about there probably super and then i will go again in the lower in the number three click and drag with shift and again at about there wonderful if i want i can just go to the photo number two and add an extra shadow so i go and uh, add um uh, drop shadow as you can see here which is really good probably i will uh, soften this so i will increase the size at about 50 wonderful and then i will go and uh, do the same thing on the number three double click create that and go to the drop shadow style and of course i will just change that to minus 90 of course i will take out the global light and uh, probably it will work but if it doesn't work you see it's so little so let's go and of course take this to 50 and it's gonna work now you see that wonderful so we have uh, shadow here shadow here different design here the same design but different here click OK and last but not least I will go to the background of this uh, design so I will double click the smart object of the background and I will put the same photo like this drag and drop enlarge super maybe here and even more enlarge wonderfully and why not save it and close it of course at the same time and so the smart object will be uh, refreshed the smart object of the background and will produce this photo of course this photo has to be uh, reduced as an opacity at about 10 let's say 
and this is so easy save it and um, see how wonderful designs I can do by altering the pre-built designs. Of course, I'm waiting a little bit. And of course, the final step will be to take the first photo and put it over here. And of course, apply maybe a shadow over this one. And check this out. This looks freaking awesome. And I did it in a matter of minutes. But usually it takes me only seconds to produce that wonderful set. Check this out, it looks wonderful. And I created a piece of art with simple steps and altering actually pre-built design. So you don't have to do anything else, but uh, think a little bit with your romantic mind. Use a pre-built design with the number of the photos that you want to put in your double page design, and then just move things if you want of course, you're not, um, you know, forced to do that if you don't, if you don't have the time or the mood. But if you, uh, if you're listening to some music and you are feeling great uh, about playing with the designs of the DAP panel version two, you're free to do because suddenly, out of the blue, you will create something that is going to be unique and probably um, you will love it. And your clients, of course, they will love it for the rest of their lives. This is the ease and the power of the DAP panel of creating majestic things out of nothing.